What's up guys? Welcome back to Half Men Half Tech. So on the 7th of July 2020, we saw the release of these beta softwares to developers only. We saw the release of MacOS Pixel Developer Beta 2 on the 7th of July. We also saw the release of iOS 14 Developer Beta 2. We saw iPadOS 14 Developer Beta 2, WatchOS 7 Developer Beta 2 and tvOS 14 developer beta 2 however it did not take long until apple released the public beta version of some softwares that were unveiled at wwdc in fact on the 9th of july 2020 we actually saw the release of these public beta softwares from apple we saw ios 14 ipad os 14 and tvos 14 However, on that same date, on the 9th of July 2020, there was no release of macOS Big Sur public beta and also there was no watchOS 7 public beta version released. So in this video, I'm going to highlight a possible release date for macOS Big Sur beta 3 and the first public beta of macOS Big Sur. And also I'm going to highlight some of the bugs and issues that people are experiencing on this macOS Big Sur beta 2, which I happen to be on. So if it's your first time watching on this particular channel, make sure you hit subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of the latest tech content that we have for you. So if we go to the about section of this Mac here, we can see that I'm on Mac OS Big Sur and this is developer beta 2 and the software version here is 11 and the build number that I have on my MacBook here that came with Mac OS Big Sur developer beta 2 is 20A4300B. Now this build number has a B at the end and usually a B is relatively very stable and so I'm going to be highlighting most of the issues that I have been facing on this Mac and some of the issues that were reported. And also if we go into the uh, storage section here, you can see that this is the Macintosh storage that I have on my MacBook. And if we go into manage storage there, it just takes a while to load. As you can see, it calculates all the storage that is being taken up by different portions of the uh, software but as you can see here system for me is taking up 13.63 gigs now that is good and it's not a big chunk some people have been reporting that you know this update takes up all of their storage and leaves like 5 or 10 gigs of storage but as you can see for me system is taking up 13.63 gigs so that's something that I thought I should just show you and this is my uh, different categories that I have taken up storage in my MacBook. So let's quickly look at some of the issues and bugs that have been reported with this macOS Big Sur Developer Beta 2 that we expect to be fixed with macOS Big Sur Beta 3. So the first one has to do with this tab. If you were to go into the About This Mac section and go to Software Update, it will basically check for updates and then next it will write that it cannot find any updates or you get an error message that it was unable to check for updates. This can happen regardless of whether you have the developer profile or not and this is a known bug and it's a very common bug that most users that are actually on beta 1 are experiencing they are failing to be able to update to developer beta 2 which is out and you should be able to see this update but if you are experiencing such bug this is what you can do it's a workaround that you can do so reboot your mac into recovery mode and then perform first aid on system disk and then set up start security to high if you have the t2 chip or if your mac has that new t2 chip security and then after that restart your mac computer into mac os pixel and you should be able to check again and see this update or see mac os pixel public beta 2 if you cannot see this update also another advanced mode that you can do if you don't see this update after using the first method that i just highlighted is to basically restart your mac into to recovery mode and then if your volume data is protected use disk utility to mount it and then open terminal and terminal is basically this uh, app here so you open terminal 
and then you go ahead and type this command. This is the command that you have to type. I'm going to leave it in the description of this video. As you can see, it's something long and complex and you have to type it as is. So I'm going to leave it in the description of this video and you can easily copy and paste. And then once you've basically copied and paste, press enter and run the command and then basically restart your Mac and you should be able to see this update. So I'm going to leave that in the description and that's the first workaround against that bug. And also the second bug that most people are reporting is this storage here so if you go to the uh, manage storage of your mac check before updating how much system storage is being taken up by your uh, software that you are currently on before the update and then see how much storage is the new update is going to take up and then you can always add it up but usually it should override files from the previous software so if you are getting an update that is about 13 gig and your previous system storage had 13 gigs it doesn't mean that you see 26 gig but it means that it should basically stay consistent at 13 gigs so keep an eye on your storage before updating to macOS Big Sur and also check your whole hard drive how much storage is available just to make sure that there are no issues or errors that occur when updating also if you see that system is taking up so much chunk or so much storage give it some time and then after processing it might reduce in size for me it came in at around 20 or 15 gigs and then after time it reduced to 13 gigs after the system had completely written all its files on the mac so just keep that in mind and yeah there is a non bug that is uh, affecting storage when it comes to this macOS big cell beta 2 update and it's known and it's something that we expect macOS big cell beta 3 to fix easily the next known bug that has been reported is that if you use third party apps and you update to macOS Big Sur basically, you find that those third party apps will stop working or basically they will just disappear overly and you won't be able to see those third party apps or use them. And if this happens, try to reinstall the update again. And if this persists, update to CMake 3.18 RC1 and that should basically fix your issue when it comes to third-party apps not working or you not being able to use some third-party apps after updating to macOS Big Sur. Now, the next bug that I'm actually also facing myself is with Safari. So with Safari, we have this new um, Apple track that basically shows you what websites are collecting information on you and also what types of information they are collecting. So this tracking feature is sort of blocking so many of the non websites that I have as my favorites and that I have saved and also Safari crashes when I try to open new tabs or add pages it sometimes it gets stuck loading and nothing else opens so Safari has been reported to have quite a number of issues when it comes to stability and also that is a non bug and issue that we expect beta 3 to fix when it comes out now the next non bug that has been reported if you go to your system update let's open system preferences here and then go to software update you will see that the system product is sometimes reported as 10.16 and only the developer transition kit is reporting that cause beta 2 at the moment is only available to developers so if you see this bug it's a non bug and existing mac systems will temporarily report the value to be 10.16 instead of macOS 11 but at this section if I go here you can see that I can see version 11 now after updating if your version says 10.16 just know that it's a bug that came out beta 2 it shouldn't affect your overall performance it just goes to show that you know the product version needs to be updated from apple server side now the next feature that comes with this update is the weather widgets now this is the secondary display that i'm using here i use it because of the screen resolution and so if you use the weather widget i can pull up my widgets here because of the screen if i press here they come on 
the main display so if you use the weather widget by the way you notice that you know the weather widget is not working as it's supposed to and sometimes it would get stuck on cappuccino or display a wrong location which is not your current location so that is a known bug and it's an issue that uh, many are reporting on the airport developer forum and so if you see that just know that it's something that is known and we expect macOS pixel beta 3 to fix it when it comes out another known bug that many people are facing when it comes to this macOS pixel beta 2 update is auto lock function so if your device is set to lock at a certain time and you have different users basically you'll find that it will not work from time to time and this is a bug that came with beta 2 update so it's also something that we expect beta 3 to fix when it comes out another thing also that uh came with this update it's a bug that many people are also reporting on the developer beta forum so if you use the calendar app you will notice that you know it also has a widget that comes in the corner here unfortunately i can't pull it up because i'm using the secondary display but if you use the calendar app you are unable to edit the widget from time to time it's a issue that is affecting most macbooks that have a bigger display at the moment that's what most of my friends have reported the ones with the smaller display aren't affected at all so if you have this issue just know that it's reported and it's something that apple is aware of and also if you're experiencing like an issue that you don't know the solution to or you don't know if it was reported you can always go ahead and report it on this feedback assistant app it's basically a feedback platform that you can use to give feedback as to what issues or concerns you are coming across when using this beta version of macOS and also an equivalent application is there on the iPhone and you can always give your feedback either on the MacBook or on the iPhone. Also something else that has been reported with this update is continuity issues. So basically if you are typing let's say some sort of notes or some sort of activity on the MacBook you can always carry it forward to the iPad or to the iPhone as long as it has the same iCloud that is logged into the MacBook or to the second carryover device that you want to continue editing on or continue your work on so that is experiencing some issues and sometimes you find that on all macbook models you are unable to use this continuity workflow mode so that is a non-issue and it's something that we also expect beta 3 to fix when it comes out now if you like this new macOS pixel wallpaper then that is good but if not you are seeing that some users are actually reporting the inability to be able to change this desktop wallpaper so for me i did test it out and as you can see this is my secondary display you can see that you know i I am able to change this wallpaper according to my needs so i like the normal uh standard wallpaper that came with big sir here so if i was to click here you can see that i can switch back and forth but if you are experiencing issues when it comes to changing your wallpaper you are not alone it's a known issue and bug that most people are experiencing also if you text a lot on the mac and you use this messages app that you see here just know that uh, from time to time it can and crash just like how safari is experiencing issues this messages app is also crashing from time to time and many users on the macbook i think this one is affecting all models too because most of my friends seem to have it but i don't use messages that often on the mac so i haven't personally experienced this bug but if you do just know that it's a non-issue that came with this macOS pixel beta 2 and it's something that we expect beta 3 to easily fix now another issue that most people are reporting and this is quite a serious one has to do with emergency calling for t-mobile subscribers in the us so from time to time if you use emergency services or calling services on the mac you'll find that you are unable to make emergency calls so i don't make calls on the mac but if you do just know that from time to time you are unable to make emergency calls and also this is something that is affecting ios and ipad os so just watch out for this and know that uh, 
this is a beta and it comes with quite a number of issues and as you can see this is another one of those serious ones and also if you have touch id on your macbook and you have the apple t2 chip you find that touch id from time to time becomes unresponsive and it does not sort of recognize your finger and sometimes you have to try like two or three times in order for it to register and it does sometimes not register at all so if you are experiencing this it's a non-issue and it has been reported and it's something that we expect macOS pixel beta 3 to fix when it comes out and a simple solution to this is basically to reset your smc for your mac and that is the system management controller the way you reset it is basically by shutting your mac and then pressing and holding the power button for about 10 seconds and then you wait for another 10 seconds and then you turn your mac back on and that basically resets your smc or your system management controller and after doing that your mac touch id should basically work normal now the next thing that we want to look at is the community pool when it comes to macOS pixel so basically i said macOS pixel beta 2 has been out for some time now if you installed it how has it been for you and what devices are you running it on so i had about 56 volts and 21 percent basically said that it's great and most of the people are still on Catalina as you can see 38% of the votes are still on Catalina now that is good but for me personally with all the issues and bugs that I was experiencing on macOS Catalina I would have moved over by now to macOS Pixel and the second most voted option is that it's great as you can see here and the third most voted option is that I'm using Windows so we had about 18% of people using Windows now 7% also said that it was terrible and 16% also said that it's okay but it has some bugs. Now let's look at some of the comments that we have here. Here we have a comment that says I don't have any computer anymore. My old MacBook broke. Sorry for that bro. Hopefully you are able to fix your macbook and get it running as soon as possible and randy k said i installed it on my 27 inch and tons of bugs for me screen freezes this tracking program blocks so many of my normal websites this can just shut down for no reason bugs so randy is experiencing some serious issues if you are experiencing screen freezes i'm personally experiencing safari issues it crashes and also the tracking feature blocks some of the websites that i've said personally so that is a non-issue and a non-bug that apple is aware of and we expect it to be fixed when macOS Big Cell Beta 3 comes out. And the last comment that we perhaps look at is this one from Adrian and it says, installed on Mac Mini 7.1 2014 i5 4 gig RAM, works way better than Catalina even if it's a beta, noticeably on the graphics performance if we can call the integrated Intel HD graphics graphics. Final Cut Pro seems to be working better too on this version compared to Catalina with high temperatures 60 degrees Celsius versus 75 to 80 Celsius with 4K 60 frames per second iPhone 11 Pro Max footage. So this is a user that is like me so i feel like i can sort of relate to both of them because my safari is also uh, freezing and also sometimes it crashes and blocks my sites and also um i can't complain so much i know that this is a beta but for me personally it's been better than marquez catalina and that's why i made a switch so that's basically the community pool that we have now with regards to the possible release date for mac os big so the expected version that we soon expect to fix most of the bugs and issues that we are experiencing when it comes to beta 2 and also for a possible public beta release date so if we open the calendar here we know that the developer beta version of macOS Pixel Beta 2 was released on the 7th of July 2020, this date here. And then iOS 14 public beta version came out on the 9th of July here. So usually when it comes to these beta software updates, Apple usually releases them after every two weeks. And you, as you can see today is the 19th. And so we are already in the second week, as you can see here. So we expect 
Mac OS Pixel Beta 3 to be released as soon as tomorrow, the 20th, all the way to Thursday, the 23rd of July. So that's the time frame that we expect Mac OS Pixel Beta 3 to be released. And then when it comes to the public beta version of Mac OS Pixel, Apple said that we should be expecting this update this month. So if we estimate according to Apple release patterns, we can expect it also along with uh, beta 3 or sometimes in the third week if Apple decides to hold the public beta update for some time. But basically that's the time frame that we expect to see Mac OS Pixel Beta 3 and also the public release date. So that's about it for me when it comes to Mac OS Pixel. This is a small follow up and also a small look at when we expect Mac OS Pixel Beta 3 to be released and also the public release version. If you like this video, please leave a like and hit subscribe down below. And thank you very much for watching and reaching this far into the video. Stay safe and I will definitely see you in the next video. Peace.